Hey, what's up guys? It's been a long time since I've made a video. I've been pretty busy. But um, a lot of you wanted to see my new car, so I'll show you I'll show you the car in just a second. But uh, I thought I would show you some new knives I picked up. I don't think I've ever showed you this. This is a K-Bar, K-Bar, whatever, K-Bar I guess it's called. Sorry if I pronounced it like a noob. This is my first ever K-Bar, so that's probably why. But um, it's pretty sweet. It's got a, like a rubber grip or something. And I uh, really don't know the specs. I'm just, you know, giving you a nice show and tell. This is my shit hits the fan knife. Everybody needs a good fixed blade. And I got a pretty good deal on this. I picked it up at uh, K&W Gunworks. That's where I go for all my gun supplies. And then today I picked up this. It's a cold steel. I'm not exactly sure the model name. I'll put it in the box below. But I thought it was pretty sweet. Now, in Florida, I'm not allowed to carry knives because I'm a Pennsylvania resident, but um, it's still sweet. And when I get back home with PA, I could carry it. So, I'm a snowbird. Once the winter's over back home, I'll be returning. I don't think I'll be able to survive down here in the summers in Florida. But um, I also picked this up today at K&W from the Glock 30. <clears throat> it's a Remora holster. I've been really curious about these, and I love it. I'm wearing Adidas pants. That's basically all I wear. And um, it fits the Adidas pants awesome. You know, I just stick it in and it doesn't feel like it's going to slip out or anything. But I, I wouldn't recommend wearing this holster in Adidas pants just in case you're out and about and all of a sudden your gun falls out. That would be pretty awkward and dangerous. So um, I'm sure in a pair of jeans it would be a lot more sturdy. But uh, I don't know. It feels pretty snug in my pants right now, even though they're really thin Adidas pants. I don't think it's going anywhere. I could always tighten the string a little bit, but um, I'll probably only carry it when I'm wearing jeans. And what else? That's it. So I'll show you the car in just a second. Alright, this is my car. 2010 Lincoln Town Car. Black with black interior. I don't want to be standing outside my car filming it and talking. My neighbors will think I'm crazy. So uh, now that I'm inside, I'll do a little bit more talking about it. It has uh, 25,000 miles on it. It's used, obviously. But um, I got a pretty good deal on it. I traded in my Chevy HHR for it. And I got a really good deal on the HHR. And um, it's funny because I took it to CarMax. They appraised it. And I think they screwed up when they appraised it. They... They gave me too good of a deal. They offered me 7500 bucks for a 2007 Chevy HHR with, um, I think, 40,000 miles. And um, the car was in pretty bad shape. It had a big dent on the back of it. And uh, the, the seat was ripped. And um, I thought it was only going to be worth like 4000 bucks. But CarMax said they'll give me 7500 bucks for it. So I kept their... You know the sheet of paper what they said it was worth and I took it with me to a, a Lincoln dealer down in Miami and uh, the Lincoln dealer beat their price they gave me eight thousand dollars for my HHR without even looking at it so I'm sure once they you know looked at it they realized they made a huge mistake the car was not worth nearly that much money so um, I got a pretty good deal now I'm making payments on this car but I'm only paying three hundred and forty dollars a month which is pretty affordable I think but I love this car I'm not, you know, I know it's an old man car, and I know the black interior with the black outside, it's basically like a taxi cab, you know, a limo, but I love these cars. I used to have a Cadillac DeVille, and it was a great car, but this Lincoln definitely drives a lot nicer. It's rear-wheel drive, the Cadillac was front-wheel drive, and um, I just think it handles a lot nicer. The seats are way more comfortable. <clears throat> They're super comfy. It's got a lot of legroom in the back. And I think the interior on it is just awesome as hell. The seats are great. It doesn't have a sunroof, which is no big deal. I'll get the windows tinted to whatever the 
I think it's like 15% of light in the back and then 28 in the front for Florida. Windshield can't be tinted, which is not a problem. You gotta be crazy to have a windshield tinted. But um, this car is sweet. If you want, you can have someone sit up here with you, which is cool, it has a front bench seat. And um, you know, just storage in here. It opens both ways, which is pretty cool. Uh, more storage over here. You could probably keep a little snub nose 38 down in there if you wanted to. But I love this car. I know this, like I said, it's an old man car, but I really don't like new cars. I've always been a fan of the older cars. I really, my dream car would be a 96 Cadillac Fleetwood. And um, if I ever find one of them, I'll probably buy it and just try to fix it up unless I could find one in perfect condition, which is, I, d I doubt it. A lot of people love to use that the 96 Fleetwood as a low rider, so they ruin the car. They put, you know, ridiculous monster size uh, wheels on them monster truck size uh, wheels on them is what I meant to say and uh, they just booger up the car make them look like shit my f dream car like I said is a 96 Cadillac Fleetwood Broham black with the black soft top black interior they're just awesome I really like the old style look to these town cars I mean the interior it's you know it's really nothing fancy but the seats are really comfortable it rides very smooth and I'm very happy with it I'm, I didn't want a really nice car, but um, I wanted something I, that I just liked, and I really like the town cars, I really like Cadillacs, and if I ever make a lot of money when I'm older, I'll probably collect a bunch of old school Cadillacs and town cars, it's just, it's my taste, I'm sure a lot of you guys think this car is way too old for me, but I love it, the interior is really comfortable, the ride is awesome, and I just love it, so... There it is. This is my 2010 Lincoln Town car. I'll see you guys later.